The streets of Manila have never been as jammed since the Japanese surrender, as millions of Filipinos turn out to welcome one of their national heroes, General Douglas MacArthur. The occasion is the 15th anniversary of Filipino independence, and the general returns to the scene of his military triumphs to take part in the celebration. It's hard for the camera even to get a glimpse of the general, so thick is the crowd. One of the most famous quotes to come out of World War II is the general's, I shall return, when the Japanese forced him to flee the islands. Return, of course, he did, victoriously. This visit is almost as triumphant. The Filipinos, who look upon him as their liberator, scream themselves hoarse as they push forward to get a glimpse of the general. In his sentimental visit, he pays his respects at the monument of the national hero, Jose Rizal, and lays a wreath at the Manila American Cemetery, where 17,000 war dead are buried. Later, he climaxed his visit with a speech that stirred the crowd. He declared, the tide of world affairs ebbs and flows, old empires die, and new nations are born, alliances rise and vanish. But through all this vast confusion, the mutual friendship of our two countries shines like a twin-fold beacon in the night. He continued, saying, I must say farewell. I must admit that the deepening shadows of life cast doubt upon my ability to pledge again, I shall return. General MacArthur, an old soldier, fading away. Thank you.